Hello, welcome to this new video series. I try to explain this course in a detailed, structured manner. There are multiple videos following this video. Make sure that you take your time to learn and practice. There are code files, materials that are provided in the description. Make sure that you download them while you are practicing these videos. If you have any questions, you can always post them in the comments window. Thank you and good luck with the course. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic called explainable AI. In short, it is known as XAI. What exactly is explainable AI? Let us see. If you take any machine learning model, specifically a black box machine learning model, where we say that we have used a model and the model has given the prediction, but we cannot really explain which is the factor that has influenced this prediction. For example, you have built a machine learning model that is going to predict whether a particular cell or whether a particular patient has cancer or not, whether it is benign tumor or malignant. If it is having cancer, then the model is going to give us the predicted value that there is cancer. But the problem with these models, imagine you have used an artificial neural network model, which will take a list of parameters as the input or list of uh, values, input values as the input. And then you have uh, used a hidden layer or a couple of hidden layers. And finally, your model could predict whether this particular patient has cancer or not. Now you can get the predicted value with very high accuracy. The problem is we need to explain it to the patient. If we say that the patient doesn't have cancer, this is just a benign tumor. We have to tell the patient why he doesn't have cancer. Maybe at least we have to give these are the three or four factors based on which we are able to say that you do not have the cancer. Or if we say that somebody does have cancer, we have to say that this is called as malignant tumor. We have predicted this using the model. These are the three or four factors. Based on this, we are able to give you this information that the model has predicted that there is cancer in it in this particular input that we have given. If the model is a black box model, it doesn't explain itself. We will not get these kind of results where we can say that these are the factors that are influencing it. We will just get the predicted value with high accuracy and that is it. We cannot really see the impact of each and every individual variable. You have used key features for the prediction of the target variable Y. You can make a good prediction about Y, but you cannot really tell which of these features are impacting the target variable Y in every scenario. Explainable AI is a topic or it is a concept that tries to address this particular issue, especially when you are building black box models. So until now the process is you have the data, you build the model, let this be a black box model, a very advanced model like artificial neural network or boosting or random forest or CNN. Now you take the data, you build the model, the model gives the predicted value and you give that result to the user, that is it. But the user may want to know why how this prediction has come? How did this prediction was arrived at? What are the most impactful factors from the input that has caused this predicted value? Yes, zero, one, two are possible predictions and we got the predicted value as one. Why this is predicted as one? I'm talking about one data point. One user has given one data point and this data point was predicted as one and then class one. Why this was not class zero, not class two? What are the influential factors that are impacting this predicted value? So what explainable AI does is it will try to give you another interface in between. So you have the data, you have the model. This is the prediction and you want to answer the user. So before getting into the user, you want to set up one explainable AI interface where you are trying to show some graphs, visualizations, trying to help the user that, you know what, these are the factors that are influencing you in your case, in this particular case, these are the factors that are influencing. That is the reason why you got this predicted value. So explainable AI in short known as XAI is a kind of interface that will help us to understand what are the influential factors. Explainable AI makes the machine learning outputs to understand and make them reliable. It is at a broader, from a broader point of view, if you see that supports fairness, accountability, transparency, we just don't want to make a claim that this is a predicted value and you just have to trust it. We want to make it transparent. We want to be more accountable when we are building the models. XAI helps organizations to build trust in deploying AI technologies. Let us suppose you have built a model that is predicting whether a patient has cancer or not. Now, if you are selling this product to a very big uh, hospital, the doctors may ask you a question. Yes, we are okay with the predicted values. How do we explain it to our patients? Why do we trust your model? Or how do we understand the predictions made by your model? We cannot tell them that, you know what, this is a black box model. We cannot explain anything. That they may not buy that particular reasoning or that particular point that we're trying to make that this is a black box model. Somehow we have to explain. So what is explainable AI? 
it refers to artificial intelligence systems that are designed to be transparent. What is happening inside, we have to explain at certain level and understandable. It aims to provide explanations for the decisions and predictions made by AI models like artificial neural networks. Addressing the black box nature of many advanced AI systems. Most of the models, especially advanced AI models like Random Forest, Boosting, ANN, CNN, they're all black box. We want to make them a little bit more interpretable. XAI focuses on XAI, explainable AI, makes focuses on making AI output interpretable, ensuring users can trust them effectively. This is especially important in critical domains like finance, law, healthcare, especially healthcare. Let me give you an example of financial systems. For example, we are building a credit risk model. Now, person A has applied for a loan. Person B also have applied for a loan. Person A, we have approved his uh, loan application. Person B, we have rejected his loan application. You know what? You cannot simply reject a loan application. You are supposed to give a loan. If you are rejecting a loan application, you have to give a reason. Why are you rejecting a loan application? Now, the reason could not be that we have built a machine learning model and this machine learning model is predicting that there is a high chance that you will be getting defaulter. That is why we are not giving you a loan. Now, the user won't accept that. In fact, the models that are working behind the scenes, these are credit risk models. These models you cannot directly use. If you are a bank or a financial institute, you cannot build your own model. After building a model, you have to run them through regulatory bodies like OCC, Office for uh, this OCC is one of the regulatory body in uh, US, which will find out whether the models that we are using are they fair or not. If you say that I'm using an artificial neural network model there and this artificial neural network model, I cannot really explain what is happening internally. I cannot really explain what is the most influential or what is the most impactful factor. If I cannot really explain that, they are not going to approve this model. They will simply say that you cannot use this model. That means the credit risk model that we are using, it has to be very much explainable. Because this model is used for approving or rejecting the loan applications and we have to treat everyone fairly. And if we are rejecting somebody's loan application, we must tell them what are the factors that we are using to reject them. We must tell them you have taken too many loans. We must tell them that maybe you have uh, made too many late payments. We must tell them that your utilization is high. Maybe a combination of these three. That is the reason why we are not able to give you a loan. That's what we have to say. So that is an example of financial institutions where you have to not only predict what is the what is the result for a particular person, for a particular user, you also need to tell why that was predicted. Let us suppose A was predicted as a good customer, B was predicted as a bad customer or a default customer. We have to tell him why he was predicted as bad customer, why we are not giving him a loan. In healthcare, for example, in healthcare, we are predicting whether a particular cell or whether a particular patient has cancer or he doesn't have cancer cancer or healthy. Let us suppose if we predict that the person doesn't have cancer, he is healthy. Now imagine by mistake, the model has predicted a particular person as healthy, but in reality, he does have cancer. In reality, so he, that patient has cancer, but we got a false negative. That means he has cancer, but he was diagnosed as healthy. So what will happen? That person will not take any medication. So that can deny patients uh, critical life-saving treatments. And after a point of time, it will be very hard for us to save that patient. Or what about false positives? A patient is actually healthy, but he is, has been diagnosed as cancer. Now that is also not really easy. If somebody is diagnosed as uh, somebody is having cancer, then he will start taking all those harmful medication. That itself is going to be very, very dangerous. So when we are predicting a particular patient does have class zero or a particular patient belongs to class one, we also need to have a clear, transparent, interpretable result where we can say these are the reasons, these are the three or four reasons why we are saying this patient is healthy. Now, when we look at these reasons, it looks like, okay, this cannot be the reason. It looks like there is something fishy. We can actually alert. We can have a look at three or four other tests. If somebody is a uh, getting the result as cancerous, class zero, then we must say these are the four reasons. These are the four factors that are influencing it. So explainable AI is a concept that tries to explain if locally, that means for a particular data point, for a particular one data point, for a particular data point, you have X1, X2, X3, and so on, all input values. You will get a predicted value. Explainable AI tries to explain that these are the factors that are influencing what is the what is the output? Whatever is the output, these are the factors that are influencing that final output. Now, XAI, explainable AI is not needed everywhere. 
there are some ml algorithms that are already transparent and easy to understand if you take regression the regression equation is y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 and so on plus beta k xk now here if you can bring all the x values onto the same scale then direct the beta value and the coefficient of beta will directly tell you what is the situation whether y is positively impacted by x1 or whether y is negatively impacted by x1 if you move x1 by one unit how much y will move directly you can get an idea on that for example if the value of y if the predicted value of y the regression equation is y equal to 2 plus 3x1 minus 4x2 imagine x1 and x2 are at the same scale that means this is also varying into hundreds this is also into hundreds if they are on the same scale then the value of y will change according to x1 and x2 for sure x1 is having a positive impact on y x2 is having a negative impact on y if you keep x2 constant whatever whenever you move x1 by one unit y will be moving by three units because three times x1 so you can tell whether x1 is having positive impact whether x2 is whether x1 is having negative impact or how much is the movement in y rate of change in y whenever you change the value of x so linear regression logistic regression also similar decision trees these are the transparent interpretable models already these are kind of simple models now what are the models that are non interpretable or what are the models that are black box models artificial neural networks definitely it's a black box model deep neural network random forest boosting cnn the equation will not be as simple as this the equation will be pretty complex in fact people don't even write equation when it comes to these algorithms even though these are machine learning models even though these are mathematical in nature even though you can write an equation for these also but people do not really write them because they are very very complex and it is not that easy that you have x1 what is the impact of x1 on y the way that we are talking here we cannot really talk in these scenarios for example if you take any ann or deep neural network model you have input layer followed by hidden layer followed by output layers hidden layer and output uh, you have hidden layers h1 h2 and you have the output layer now i'm not going very deep into artificial neural network deep neural network we have already discussed them yeah, very much in depth in our machine learning deep learning sessions now you have this input you have the hidden layer you have the output layer the input layer x1 x2 and so on xk they are all combined to get h1 again h1 h2 and so on hk they are all combined to get h2 now they are all combined to get y there is no direct relationship from x to y directly like the way like if i have to draw this in this format i have to write x1 x2 are directly connected to y now that's what a linear regression looks like but here this is very much complicated you cannot really say what is the impact of x1 on y what will be the change in y if you change x1 if you just change x1 it's not easy to directly compute like that so this is a black box model what happens internally very difficult to comprehend this is a black box model random forest is a black box model boosting is a black box model what are these black box models you will get the predicted values you will get the predicted value but the problem is you cannot really tell why that predicted value let's say if the predicted value is 0 why is it 0 if the predicted value is 1 why is it 1 what are the influential factors that are causing this prediction to be 1 or 0 this is a problem that we want to address using xai so let us see the technique that is used to explain the factors that are influential in getting a particular predicted value continue with the next video in the playlist we are covering everything step by step if you have any questions or the comments please post them in the comments window below